Hey folks, everything new under the sun. It's that time of year again. We're going to go ahead and tap the tree. It's uh, still pretty cold out, um, but uh, I figured I would go ahead and tap it. I wasn't sure if I was going to do it again this year, uh, but yeah, decided to do it anyway. So first thing I do is I get my drill, and uh, here I'm actually looking for, I couldn't find the, the original equipment. Uh, I had a Tupperware container, and I couldn't find it in our storage room. Finally found it. Basically what this is, is a big Tupperware container with a hole in the top of it. And um, then of course I store all the hoses and such which come down from the tree. And all the sap literally goes into that big uh, Tupperware container. So there I'm just looking at the uh, the uh, spile. Is that the right word? Spile? Um, the drill bit I have in there is actually too big. I actually, I actually ended up uh, drilling that out in the tree and then I had to plug it because it was simply too big. It looks like it's pretty good at the, at the fat end of it. Um, but uh, I went ahead with, and got my old uh, drills uh, for that. Uh, this one here. I actually lost the original drill bit that I had been using, and that's for a kind of a manual hand crank uh, uh, bit. And you're supposed to use this instead of a high speed drill bit um, because this one doesn't clog up, I guess, kind of like the veins um, that the sap flows through. They don't clog it up like a high speed drill bit does. And so that's why you're supposed to use those old fashioned uh, bits. This one isn't. Actually, it, it, it did turn out that that one is about the right size. I forget what size it is, a quarter inch or something like that. So here I am bringing it out. Uh, I've still got the wrong drill bit in there. I'll, I'll find that out uh, soon enough. So what we have here is one big old Manitoba maple. And if you watch my previous videos, um, you've seen me tap this before. Um, but today I'm going out with the with the kids to get this in. It was about minus 10 degrees or, or something. And uh, boy, it was really chilly. Uh, with the wind that particular day. So what I do is I um, pick out some good locations and now on this old tree um, there are several prior drill holes um, which have obviously been plugged and have, have uh, partially healed over um, by the tree. Um, so uh, we've tapped this tree probably five, six, or seven years. We've been on the property for um, eight years now I guess and I've been doing it pretty much the same every time and so I have basically the these uh, uh, rubber uh, plastic hosing P it's not PVC I don't know what it is food grade hosing and I've kind of plugged it together where I can get three spiles going into a single um, food grade hose which then uh, effectively empties into the Tupperware bucket which I use to uh, house uh, contain all all the, uh, the spiles and the hosing uh, in the off season when we're not using it. So in this case we just look for a good spot. Um, that's where I, I tried initially with the with the uh, big drill bit and uh, that uh, simply wasn't uh, working. So it takes a little bit of doing. I, I end up um, uh, drilling a hole oh, about three inches long into the tree. I don't know what the exact um, a length uh, of hole you're supposed to, or depth of hole you're supposed to put in there. Uh, that seems to work. Obviously, you don't you don't want to drill through, through the whole tree. Um, but you, the, the sap, I believe, runs up the outer uh, edge of the the bark um, when it's sunny out. It, it uh, the difference in pressure from the top to the bottom and the temperature difference causes the sap to uh, basically be sucked up the tree uh, in springtime. So here you go, here's a, a bit of a, a better close-up look. Um, it, it is a hand crank drill and I've got it in a, a drill. Um, the hand crank um, drill itself I, I don't have. I don't have one that's working. The one I have is all seized up. So I just stick it in the end of my uh, my big uh, drill. and uh, It seems to work. It's a little wobbly. Um, one of these years I need to get a, maybe a look for it to buy a proper drill bit or to actually fix up the, the hand crank drill that I have. Here you can see I put the hose in the top of the Tupperware container and that just serves as um, the bulk containment unit for all the sap. Now it does tend to freeze up there sometimes, uh, but when it when it warms up it, it then starts flowing through. So it, it's been a couple, it's been uh, I guess a day or two since I installed this, uh, you know, as to when I'm actually doing this voiceover. We haven't had any sap yet, it's been very cold, minus 18 degrees Celsius I think overnight. Um, but over the next couple of weeks it's supposed to warm up and it, you want it plus uh, above zero, above freezing in the daytime, below freezing at night and that's the optimal uh, pressure uh, difference between day and night to really pump that sap up. So uh, we'll probably do a follow up with some boiling of sap but I just wanted to show that one to you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.